Earlier last week, guys, it was revealed that there's a lot of uh, people over in Sony PlayStation Studios that have pretty low morale because they were shut down for projects that they wanted to work on. And there was also uh, news that a Days Gone sequel basically got scrapped in favor of a Last of Us remake. And it has a lot of people upset, especially the main director of days gone who just recently went on record to encourage fans to sign petition for a sequel me personally i would like to see days gone continue i thought it was a fantastic um new ip that was exclusive to sony and it was fantastic i mean it's zombies anyway right why do we need another remake of the last of us if that had a remaster i don't get it but Sony makes billions of dollars, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and read this article and talk about it a little bit. Days Gone director encourages fans to sign petition for sequel. So this is an update of the article I read the other week. Uh, going on to it, I want to give my thoughts of it. I know it's a couple days old. Some of you guys might have already read this. So the director of 2019's PS4 release Days Gone is encouraging fans to sign a petition in the hopes of greenlighting a sequel for PS5. Within the past week, a report emerged stating that developer Ben Studio had pitched Days Gone 2 to Sony back in 2019, but the project was turned down. So Sony flat out was like, nah, we're not doing this. Um, it, it goes on that, uh, I guess, that speculation or that, 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 that perception that Sony only really goes after huge blockbusters. They know a Last of Us remake will sell like hotcakes. So uh, this says, however, that hasn't kept fans from trying to make their desire for a potential sequel heard. So over on social media, Jeff Ross, who formerly worked as director at Ben's studio before leaving in 2020, told fans to keep showing up in droves to sign a petition that was created last week. Ross said that he was surprised to see that the petition itself has become one of the most popular over the past few days. And he goes on to say, please jump on there and help push it over the 25,000 mark. So this was just a couple days ago. You could see this is his tweet. It says, damn, I can't believe this Days Gone petition is rapidly approaching one of the top signed petitions on change.org. Please jump on there and help push it over. And at the time, it was a little over 23,000. You can see 23,258 people had signed it. So at 25,000, it would become one of the top signed on change.org. Now, that is a huge amount of support for Days Gone and for the potential of a sequel. Hopefully, it catches Sony's eye. I don't think it's going to. Now, it says, while Sony's decision to make Days Gone 2 happen might not be swayed from a petition like this, it's good to see that Ross seems to still remain hopeful that the idea for a sequel could happen. Based on what we heard earlier this week, the sequel for Days Gone was going to implement co-op gameplay it would also feature a connected world of some sort. So I think co-op gameplay for the environment that Days Gone would be like a, a little open world environment with uh, zombies and crafting and, uh, you know, riding bikes and stuff like that would be pretty epic. I would be sold out on that. And then they took the feature of a connected world. Sounds pretty enticing. Now, it goes on to say, obviously, these plans seemingly ended up getting canned alongside the project's pitch to Sony, but Ross himself still wants players to make their voices heard. So the the team behind Days Gone is 110% gung-ho behind it. Is it because they want a job and they need money? Possibly, but also I think they really care about it. I think they genuinely care about this property so it says even if sony never decides to release a sequel to days gone it's looking to bring the game to a whole new audience in just about a month playstation announced just yesterday that the pc iteration of days gone is set to arrive next month on may so it's going over to pc in the process some first gameplay footage from this part of the game was also shown off for the first time so yeah the the uh former director is at least encouraging the people to get on social media to let their voices be heard to get on change to sign the petition um and yeah who knows maybe they'll backtrack i mean sony just recently backtracked on the closing of the ps3 stores and the in the vita store <laughs> you know amid a huge amount of backlash with that situation so maybe 
just maybe Sony will listen to the backlash of this Days Gone thing. Because I know a lot of people are pretty upset about it. I know a lot of people are hoping that. Just yesterday, actually, in my comment section of the video that I talked about the PS3 stores staying open. A lot of people were saying, hopefully Sony listens to the backlash of the Days Gone sequel now, too. Me, personally, I don't see why we can't have a Days Gone sequel and The Last of Us remake. Like, why not both? Like, why do we have to have one or the other? Uh, it's Sony. I'm sure they have plenty of resources um, to get both of them done. They want money, right? That's literally two money pits that they would be sitting on. Now, sure, Days Gone has not sold as much as Last of Us or even Last of Us 2 has. Uh, but there's enough of a out, you know, outcry from a fan base out there that would like to see something brand new. That would like to see a new IP continue on. Um, and Sony just wants the guaranteed for sure money i mean how many times in the past have they did a remake of shadow of the colossus like two or three times it seems like every couple years shadow of the colossus comes back out with some kind of like update or remake so is that what they're going to be doing with the last of us as well uh, don't get me wrong i love the last of us uh i i finally got to sit down and play the remaster a year ago and i was like wow this really was worth the hype it was a fantastic game it was it was amazing i liked it uh it was as much of an adventure and memorable with the story as everybody hyped me up to believe but i just feel that a lot of companies not just sony i let me get out there not just sony even nintendo is guilty of it we just see too many ports or remakes or rehashes of some of these titles that yeah they're for sure going to sell like hotcakes well, let's get some of the new blood out there. Let's get some of the new stuff. You got uh, people that are working for Days Gone, that worked for Days Gone in the past, that are passionate about that IP, that want to bring the fans uh, a new sequel with some good features and stuff that could be a potentially good game. Um, now, at this point, how long would it take to make a Days Gone sequel? Probably a couple of years. But this was back in 2019. This was two years ago. They could have had a good chunk of development made already on a sequel that we could have seen a year or two from now. So even if they did green, green light a Days Gone sequel, how long would it take for us to play it? Because Sony denied it back two years ago. That's the unfortunate thing. So let me know what you guys think down below with this whole Days Gone sequel situation and the uh, former director encouraging people to sign the petition. Have you signed it already as well? Let us know and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate you watching.